This is an odd little fly pattern that was inspired by today's solar eclipse. To tie it, we'll start off with some black thread, snap your excess free, and grab some D-rib. Here I'm using black. We'll secure the D-rib to the side of our hook shank, wrapping back towards the bend of our hook. We'll then grab some dubbing. Here I'm making a blend of some black carp dubbing, black hair's ear, as well as some black ice dubbing. We'll blend these together creating a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, continuing to build up a transition as we work towards the head of the fly. You can continue to tighten or add dubbing as needed, stopping quite a ways short of the head of our fly. And of course, brush it out to give it that nice, buggy look. At which point, we'll grab our D-rib and begin to wrap it forward, this time in open spirals, continuing to do so until we reach our thread. Secure it with your thread and snip the excess free brushing it out once more to remove any trap fibers and give it that nice, buggy look. We'll pull any excess fibers free, grabbing our bead and sliding it back towards our dubbing, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind our bead to help lock it in place. Once complete, we'll fill in the gap at the back of our fly with a loose dubbing noodle. brushing it out once more for that nice, buggy look. We'll then grab some black hackle. Pull a single feather free, stripping away some of the excess and securing it just in front of our bead. Snip your excess free, covering up your tag ends and laying a base for our next step. With this complete, we'll grab our feather and begin hackling it around the head of the fly. Typically, you would just do this for one to two turns. However, we're gonna put in several to achieve the look I'm going for. We'll continue hackling our feather forward until we run out of room and reach the hook eye. At which point, we'll secure the feather tightly in place with our thread pulling the fibers backwards and taking a few thread wraps on top of it before snipping the excess free. Once again, brushing the fibers backwards and taking thread wraps on top of it to help give it that brush back look. We'll exaggerate this slightly by continuing almost all the way back towards the bead before grabbing a whip finisher to secure it in place. Snip your thread free painting it over with some UV resin to give it a glossy look. Fix in place with a UV light, and this is a pattern inspired by the Holy Grail, as well as the upcoming solar eclipse, called the Fly of Totality, and I hope everyone gets a chance to view it later today. And as a note, for those of you who have sent in orders, typically I pack them up on Mondays, however I'm going to be out of the office to view the eclipse, as well as get some skiing in. I'll be back on Tuesday to pack up the orders. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more! And I will see you in the next one.